Or you cannot Dance. be the guide. Bird! Sloth! Monkey! I'll fit this time, it's so, so bad. It fit! <laughs> Costa Rica, baby! Costa Rica! I made it! This is how you do it. We're just heading out the airport, we got our luggage, now to our rental car. So while Costa Rica is not a super budget, friendly country. We did come here specifically for the wildlife. You can see monkeys, sloths, crocodiles, so many different kinds of birds. So we're here for a short period, but we're going to try to pack in as much wildlife viewing as we possibly can. I'm really excited about the sloths. We're at Crocodile Bridge. We're on our way to Manuel Antonio National Park. And this is one of the stops along the way where you can see just so many crocodiles. I think I counted earlier, there are about 15 here right now. And you can see all of the fine details, like their eyes, scales, tails. It's awesome. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Number three song on Spotify right now. Do, 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 do. Which makes sense because it is uh, December 15th, so. We're getting started a little bit later than what we should have. Like we should have gotten started at seven. It's 7.40 right now, but it has been raining. And oh my gosh, the rain last night was insane. Our apartment's actually flooded right now because of the rain, but I'm really excited. We should be able to see some sloths, monkeys, and whatever else is here. If you look busy sometimes, but it's still nice, it's very easy to do. And there are many animals around us in the wild. We just need to find them to look for them. He's looking for cool things for us. Take a look and see the details. Very well. For the lady. Oh, he found something else. This is a small, and it's something that you're not expecting to see living here in the forest. Call them tent making bats. They buy the leaf, break it, and they build a tent where they can stay hanging during oh, the day. Oh, I see it. These are okay. fruit bats. So yeah, you can yeah. see them from here with your bare eyes. Also, big tree right here. Laughing falcon. National tree of Guatemala, cape of tree or ceiba tree, one of the tallest in the tropical forest. Saying guaco, guaco, guaco. It was the one making the sound like a that we heard before. You can notice on red. Is that one okay making that sound? Oh, is this a cricket? It's a grasshopper that we call rainbow grasshopper. It's very colorful. Sloth. A sloth. You know, I'm like looking. I'm like trying to find sloth. The flower from the vine. I'm going to show you that one in a moment. Okay. The sloth. There. There's, one there. uh -huh. There's a sloth back there. The finger is brown, blondie. Okay. And it looks also bigger than this one. Is the, is the head on the left or on, on the, the right? On the right. Holy. Uh -huh. 
more than herbivores, they are polyvores, they feed on polyvores. Okay. Oh, you can see the face. What a cute slot. Hopefully yeah. there will be more on the way. We parted ways with our amazing guide Maro to explore more of the park. Maro's details are in the video description if you're planning a trip to Manuel Antonio. Now, let's get back on track. I was beginning to think that we were going to see no monkeys on this trip because it was rainy this morning and the monkeys don't come out when it's wet. But we sat in that cafe for like an hour and waited for everything to kind of dry up. And all of a sudden they just started congregating in like these large numbers. We even saw one with a baby on its back. It was so cute. <laughs> first came down to this beach, I noticed that there were a ton of people hanging out on one side and I wondered what they were looking at. It's monkeys. They're just all over the place. You can watch them knocking down coconuts and then going down to the beach, cracking them open and then eating them. They're like so active right now. I'm really amazed given it's like midday. There are so many monkeys here. Oh, wow. Mm. Hi buddy. Hi. Are you lost? <laughs> Wow. <coughs> Close encounters of a monkey kind. Uh, yeah, it's the monkeys like trying to steal their stuff. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh! Woo! Was that the monkey? No, that was their. Yeah, it's definitely the monkey. They're trying to hit on the monkey. Yeah. It's the monkey mafia, as we've been told. Cautionary tale. Keep good, good eye on your stuff while you're here. Or the monkeys will take it. just walking on this trail. We have no idea what we're looking for. Now that our guide is gone. Get a guide, man. You don't know what you're looking for. Or you cannot Dance. be the guide. Bird, sloth, monkey. I'm a guide. I think she's done now. She's not a guide. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Bird, but I don't know where it is. Maybe if I make the noise. It'll uh, respond back. There's a bunch of raccoons here. It's like a whole family. These are the raccoons in Costa Rica. They look very different than the raccoons back home. They're all just running across the sidewalk. <laughs> Find me an iguana, iguana coming into focus, wow, hi buddy. We're going to wrap up our day here at Manuel Antonio National Park. It has been amazing, so much wildlife and we are sufficiently sweaty, um, but tomorrow we're going to head down to Drake Bay and we're gonna have another experience and adventure there. So follow along for that. River crossing number two. Google is telling us to go one way, but all the signs for the hotels near where we're staying are telling us to go a completely different way. I feel like I'm holding our lives in my hands. I noticed there were a lot of people standing over here earlier when we were on the opposite side, so I intentionally made my way here, but there are a ton of monkeys just hanging around. One just came up like right next to Rishi and was trying to assess whether he could steal something. It was really funny.